All right. Well, that was intriguing. Okay. All right. Just to, just to let you uh, in on a secret here. Um, so I'm not playing. I got a secret from y'all. Um, on problem number eight. On problem number, you're going to get an answer between one and two. Okay. And on problem number nine, you're going to get an answer between four and six. So we're in it. Okay. So just kind of help you. All right. Now we're going to go on here. Here we go. Now remember what I said at the beginning. This is we're we're doing this just so you, you know you you can see what all this crazy math that you might have been learning in high school did it really have a point? You know, that was a, a lot of times math teachers and science teachers never even talked to each other in high school. It was like, really? Anyway, Gary Connery successfully, you know, God rest his soul, um, landed in a wingsuit jump without opening a parachute. True or false? Okay. A wingsuit is so amazing. Athletes, can they fly up in the thing, though? Hmm. Okay. This is the end of the lesson, and I'm feeling uh, exercise. A little bit froggy, going to blow you away with some fun math, you can, but you can do it. Plus, it's in the notes if, if you can't. So if a wingsuit athlete flies three feet for every one foot down, three feet across for every one foot down. So let's take a look at this. Now, here's how you do this. And, and all of you have a calculator that's capable of doing this, especially if you have a phone, okay, or if you have a computer. So here you go. So it goes three feet this way. And I think I said two for one earlier didn't I or did I and one foot down okay so we want to find this angle right here how do we find this angle how do we find that angle here's how on your calculator on your calculator we're gonna do the opposite leg over the adjacent remember the right triangle so you're gonna do one divided by three Okay, and then on your calculator, you've got this funny, if you have an old-timey calculator where you got to do a thing backwards, you're going you're gonna to have this 0 0.333 all laid out like this. Then make sure your calculator is set on degrees. There's a little DRG button on some of the older calculators. Push that and make sure that it says degrees. Okay. And then you're going to hit this button. We're going to take the inverse of this because this gives us because the tangent function is a ratio. So we're going to take the inverse of the tangent function. In other words, we want to get the degrees. So you hit that little key. And on mine, it looks like this. And and on mine, I do it the way you'd write it out. You take the inverse tangent of one divided by three, and go bang. And you come up with 18.43 degrees. So, worst comes to worst. On your, uh, the older calculators, you take 1 divided by 3 and then just hit that inverse tangent key. It'll be above the tan key. It's on the same thing, but it'll be written in like yellow or something like that. So, you got to hit your second operation. But you already know what the angle is. Okay, now we're going to have fun with that 18.43 degrees. All right. If the wingsuit athlete is flying at 150 miles an hour, what is her speed in the horizontal direction? Okay, so here's what here's what we mean. And when pilots do this kind of stuff, they're going, oh, they're flying at a vector because they because they've got a speed vector going this way, and they've got a speed vector going this way. This is 150 miles an hour. These two vectors have to add up to each other, and they have to add up to each other geometrically and algebraically. So you just can't take, oh, well, this must be 120 and this is 30 or something like that. No, it doesn't work that way. So here's what you do. Here's what you do. In the horizontal direction, we're, now we're going to, so use, in problem 10, use the tangent key or the inverse of it. Now we're going to use the cosine key. So all you do is take so in the x direction is 150 times the cosine of 18.43. Okay? 
and v naught y in the vertical direction would be 150 miles per hour times the sine function of 18.43 degrees. So what your engineering friends are working on in, in, in physics class. All right, we're going to stop here. Go on. We'll finish this. I promise.